Well, Sunday certainly sucked, and my apologies going out to Florida Gulf Coast because yesterday I used the Eagles as my 15-dime best bet, and that was automatic disaster right there. I mean, it doomed them to failure. Instead of earning their third big dance invite in four years by beating Mercer at home, Yes, they were hosting the championship game of the Atlantic Sun Tournament and hammering them again like they did just about a month ago at home. As a two-point favorite, they lose outright. So that is on me. I apologize to all you Florida Gulf Coast fans. If I had known better, I would have taken somebody else and cursed them instead. And, of course, the free picks yesterday were equally as bad. I went with a road favorite, Virginia. I went with a home favorite, St. Joe's, and they both lost outright. So today we'll try something different. Here in Vegas, at the Orleans, uh, at the arena, they're having the West Coast Conference Tournament, and they have the semifinals tonight. And one of the games, Gonzaga and St. Mary's, and of course these two have played five consecutive years in the championship game of the tournament. They are meeting again tonight, but this time, of course, in the semifinals. And Gonzaga has hammered them in both meetings this season. Can they do it again as a six-point chalk? I'm going to break that game for you up, uh, break it down for you, or maybe I'll break you up over the game, especially if you happen to be the fan on the side that I'm with. Uh, I'll break it down for you in just a moment. Let's talk about some of the hot handicappers at the site. That would exclude me. Uh, Gabriel DuPont, congratulations to him. I mean, it's been a real nice run for Gabe DuPont. Actually, Gabe really doesn't like the name Gabe, Gabriel DuPont, since I added him here to the site a, a day or so before the Super Bowl. Uh, yesterday, you got his biggest play of the year, 100 Don College winner, number seven out of nine, his Big Ten game of the year, easy winner with Minnesota by 18 over Penn State. You got it yesterday as the half price play of the day. Well, today, he has a second biggest play, and you can get that as the half price play of the day. Yeah, I know I'm giving away money, but what the hell? It's my company. I can do whatever the hell I want. Today, half price play of the day, Gabriel DuPont, 80 dime winner, number two in a row, and it's his MAC game of the year, Ball State and Ohio. And he's also going for winning day, number 22 out of 32, and he's made $10 betters, a little over $5,400 over the past month. And the coupon code is simply the word half, H A L F. Uh, Brian Rusica, uh, you know, oh my God, last year at this time, it was a phenomenal run. Remember when he came onto the site right after the Super Bowl, hit 18 of his first 22 picks, had a great run through the tournament, a great run through the NBA playoffs. We got the football and it all fell through. Well, he's back on fire once more and it's in basketball again. Today going for his fifth straight winner and it's a 60 dime play on St. Mary's and Gonzaga. Um, you can save $70 and get the winner for just $29, just like you did with his 50 dime winner on New Mexico, covering at San Diego State on Saturday night. This play is bigger, but you're going to get it for the same price, $29, by using coupon code ROSICA29, ROSICA29, R-O-S-I-C-A, and the number 29. And FYI, just to let you know, I checked beforehand. I see that Steve Budens uh, going for 50 dime winner number six out of seven over the past 10 days. He's on the St. Mary's, Gonzaga, or actually the Brooklyn College crew that he uses, he calls them. They're on the same, uh, same game tonight. They are on opposite sides, guys. So Budens' crew is on one side. Rosica is on the other side. You only have to buy one of them, or if you've already bought one of them, you now know who the other guy has. Uh, and finally, Brad Wilton. Man, he's on another roll, going for winning day number six in a row today. That's right, six in a row. And today he has his 69 winner number 50 out of 78, his Atlantic Coast, I'm sorry, his Atlantic Division total of the year, the Knicks Sixers over under. He's made $10 better. It's $11,980 since July. You can save $80 by using coupon code SAVE80. Save 80. Uh, bigger than his three straight 40 dime winners. Remember last week, Oklahoma over West Virginia on Wednesday, Cincinnati over Memphis on Thursday, uh, Wright State over Oakland on Friday. Bigger than all those. So that's what Brad Wilton has going for himself today. Uh, now, as for, um, oh, you know, I tell you the good, I got to tell you the bad. Uh, let's, let me mention quickly that uh, Anthony Red was a big discounted play yesterday. He was on the Indiana Pacers, and uh, 75 dime winner number 13 out of 16 went down as the Mavericks took care of business against suddenly slumping Indiana. Okay, let's get to this uh, Gonzaga game tonight against uh, St. Mary's. 
Um, you know, Gonzaga was very fortunate to reach the semifinals because in their quarter, quarterfinal opening win on uh, Saturday, they needed David Stockton shot with 1.4 seconds to play to escape with a 77-75 win over Santa Clara. Now, the last time these two met was back on March 1st at St. Mary's, and Gonzaga rolled on the road 75-47 in that contest. When they met at home, Gonzaga at home on January 2nd, they won 73 to 51. Now, the Gales are the number four seed. They're coming off an 80 to 69 win over Pepperdine on Saturday. That just squared their record at 500 over the past six games. This, as I noted earlier, the sixth consecutive year that these two teams are playing in the West Coast Conference tournament. Now, the five previous years, they always met in the championship game, and three times Gonzaga emerged victorious. I realize that this could potentially be a trap game, maybe. I realize that it's hard to beat anybody three times in a single season, but when you look at the convincing manner of the victories by Gonzaga against St. Mary's this year, 75-47 on the road, 73-51 at home, and I realize this is a neutral court and they're a six-point favorite here in Vegas at the Orleans Arena, but I still got to go with the Bulldogs. They are playing their best ball of the season right now. And they have certainly toyed with this opponent. I know St. Mary's is going to be up for the game in double revenge, but we're talking a six-point number here. I think Gonzaga is the better team. I think they're a little better rebounding team as well. So I'm willing to lay the points with Gonzaga. Of course, I'm the same guy that told you to lay the points with the free picks with St. Joe's in Virginia yesterday, and you saw how that worked out, didn't you? Hey, that'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all, and I will catch you again on Tuesday.